Hey guys, it has been a long time since my last video, so I thought I would try to show you guys how to do something pretty special. Um, if you're a trapper, this is really going to help you out big time, and if, I promise you that if you will just try this one time, one time, you will see that this will be the absolute best fish oil uh, for trapping that you have ever smelled that is very very powerful Okay, it's very clean But it does have a drawback and that is it doesn't last very long Okay, it just it just doesn't um, You might get anywhere from about three to six months depending upon the type of fish uh, that you use to do this but um, You know if you uh, So, you know if you make it up before you go out trapping, you know, it'll be good for about anywhere from like I said three to six months okay this will also save you a ton of money all right where you're not having to uh, buy a bunch of fish oil all the time all right now um, I'm just going to show you the basic way of doing this and you know you can add to it or, or take away from it whatever you choose to do okay a friend of mine showed me how to make this and uh, it's just it's absolutely phenomenal it truly truly is all right, so we're gonna go ahead and get started here. Um, I'll show you what you need, okay? It's really not that expensive at all, okay? This is just uh, Walmart vegetable oil, okay? You can use canola oil, peanut oil, sunflower oil. You know, I just buy the vegetable oil because it's cheap. Um, one deal of salt. Um, I use um, unidized. You can use iodized if you want. That's just what I've always bought. It's just an iodized salt, okay? And the seafood of your choosing, okay? I say seafood of your choosing because, well, you can pretty much choose any type of sea, almost any type of seafood that you want, seriously, okay? And I'm gonna, I'm gonna get to that later on in the video, give you some ideas of, uh, of what all you can, what all different types of fish, you know, that you can, that you could use for this. Okay. Uh, first things first here, let me glove it. Take this. Pour a little bit of it off. Whoop. Can't get a little too much. Uh, about maybe a little bit more. And I'm just going to end up pouring some of the back in anyway. Help if I open it from the right way, huh? Good grief. Okay, about half of this into the oil. Okay, now uh, the salt serves um, a purpose obviously to, to help keep uh, the fish preserved while this, while, this is, uh, while this is working. It takes about 14 days, give or take, you know, a day or so for it to work. It makes the oil salty so it'll preserve the fish and keep it from going rancid while this is working, okay? 
Now, what I'm gonna do, okay, is I'm gonna pause the video here, all right, and I'm gonna open up. I have, I forgot to tell you about this, I apologize. These are just, I just went with regular sardines, okay? I like the, uh, the coyotes around my area of Oklahoma and Texas like, like sardine oil. Actually, they actually like smoked sardine oil, and I'll get to the smoke part in just a minute, in just a little while. But I'm gonna pause the video here, and the only thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open up all of these, all of these uh, containers and dump them, dump them in here, except for the very last one, okay? So uh, I'll be right back with you. Okay, guys, we're back. <clears throat> and we got the last one here. Now, what you want to do when you're doing this is kind of go in here and scrape off all this nice fishy goodness, okay, on the lids and the insides of the cans. All right, there's a lot of uh, there's a lot of oil and fishy yumminess in there, so. Okay, now I'm just gonna kind of give this a bit of a chop, you know, just blend it up a little bit here. Okay, and now a little bit of the oil. Now you don't have to do this part right here to be honest with you, okay? I just do it, it makes things, this is just the way I do it and it's, I find it a little bit easier, okay? Um, now when it comes to your guys' choice of seafood, the only thing that you really, that you really need to, uh, to adhere to is is that the fish is cooked okay and that it is not seasoned meaning that like when you go and you and you and, and you look for the regular sardines or or kipper snacks or uh, any of the other type of any of the other type of canned fish you'll notice that it, it comes in, in in a whole different variety of seasonings. I mean, there's sriracha, uh, jalapeno, all kinds of different all kinds of different seasonings, and you obviously don't want those seasonings, okay? And you want and you want the fish that is just packed in nothing but oil, okay? No water, uh, no seasonings, just oil. In there, I thought a piece of foil from the top there got into it, but it didn't. And you can use just about, like I said, any type of fish that you want. A favorite of people's to use with this is the smoked oysters. All right, it's um, I've used it myself. It is, it is a very good one. It truly is. Uh, tuna fish is another good one. Smoked trout is another good one. Uh, you can use, like I said, just about any type of fish that you want. You know, uh, some fish last longer than others. The sardine seems to last uh, around six months or so, to be honest with you. Um, but here's the deal, though. Okay, let's say you want to use sardines or any other type of a canned fish and oil, but you want smoke. Okay, you want it to uh, be a little bit smoky flavor. You know, and that really nice, 
that really nice smoke odor. But there is no canned fish that you want to, that you that you're looking for that that has that is smoked. Well, that's fine and dandy because all you have to do is just go online and buy yourself a bottle of smoke oil. I'm not talking about that stuff that liquid smoke from the grocery store, okay? I'm talking about actual smoke fragrance, and you just add a little bit, and you would just, you know, add a little bit to the gallon. Okay, so you got all your fish in there, okay? And like I said, we're gonna pour some of this, not a lot. Actually, I really shouldn't pour much at all back into this, okay? That's gonna be about it. Now, the key to this is shaking it up. Okay, turn it on, turn it on the bottom. Okay, you want to get all that salt moving. You want to get all that salt moving around. There it goes. All right. Now, see how everything is finally moving around? You want to do this ideally. about, I do it three times a day, okay, for the time that it's going to take, and like I said, this is gonna take about 10 to 14 days, or I mean, excuse me, about, about 14 days, give or take a day or so, somewhere in there. Uh, that'll settle out, it'll keep settling out, you know, when you just go back in there and you shake it up. And this is just tincturing. Is, is what it is. It's just it's just tincturing, okay? But to be able to do this and to be able to make this, seriously, this high grade of an oil for this cheap is just, is, is a godsend to me. You know, I mean, the coyotes, I'm a, uh, the coyotes where I live, they, they love fish. And a, a good fish oil is a, uh, it's a big time thing, you know. Uh, I don't have to tell you trappers out there uh, how good fish oil is. <laughs> you know, I mean, it can, it is used as an attractant and has been used for as an attractant for who knows how long. Longer, way longer than I've been alive, I can tell you that. But um, anyway, folks, like I said, if you uh, if you will just give this a try one time, it is a little bit messy, you know. I admit, but. Uh, you will you will be so happy it's not even funny now um let me tell you the last the last step that unfortunately i can't show you because it's obviously not ready all right but um in about 14 days or so you'll uh, you'll you'll just can you'll keep coming in you'll check it in about 13 14 somewhere in their days you'll start to notice that the smell is uh it's kind of it just, it smells like it's starting to go rancid, okay? Um, I know exactly, you know, I'm not gonna say exactly, about where about where to stop, and I usually stop around 13 and a half, 13 days, and it's just fine for me, okay? But after you get, after this is done, what you're going to do is filter it off, all right? And that's very important. The way you filter it, you know, uh, you can pretty much filter it however you want. Some guys just, you know, go out to Walmart and buy one of those, uh, like a strainer, you know what I'm talking about, that has the metal, the metal uh, screen, you know, and they just use that. I take it a little bit further, actually, and I use a, um, I use a fryer filter that's used for restaurants. You know, there's a, it's a, there's a steel, a steel piece that you can buy from Amazon. It's like 11 or $12. And it's shaped like a long square, and it, or a long rectangle, excuse me, and it fits on top of, a, of any five-gallon bucket. And in the middle of that is a, is a circle about yay big, and there's a cone, okay? And you put 
these fryer filters inside of this cone. I put three filters in there myself because I like I like it really really well filtered. Um, and it also tends to last a little bit longer, uh, last me a little bit, a lot, a lot longer, to be honest with you. I usually get like maybe an extra two or three months out of it when I filter it like that, you know. But um, just filter it off and, uh, you know, go out and catch some critters. But uh, it's a re it really is a great oil and the, um, the sky is the limit with what you can do with it and the, the type of fishes, that, the type of fish that you can use. I mean, you can use, for, like I said, pretty much any type of fish you want. You know, so I'll tell you, I'll tell you a really good one. I'll tell you a really, really, really good one. I bought uh, two pounds here. This was last year. I bought a couple pounds of unseasoned, boiled Louisiana crawfish. Okay. And they came in and I took a meat tenderizing hammer. You know, the ones that has the kind of like the spike looking things on the end. And I took that and I broke it all up, shells, heads, everything, okay? And um, I turned that into some, I turned that into a really good oil. And then what I did was I took and added a little bit of smoke, okay, to the, to the, to the oil. And with me and smoke, usually, unless I want to make like a, like a call, you know, like a long call type thing, you know, I add smoke just enough to, to get a hint of it. Because smoke, the smoke oil, real smoke oil, is extremely overpowering. But if you want to use it to punch up your punch up your um, your fish oil, it really works well with it. I mean, it's extremely well. And you can punch it up really high, and you can you can reach out there and grab some critters with it. Okay. But um, anyway, guys, uh, I hope this has helped you out and um, give it a try. I promise you will never ever look back. All right. You guys have a good one. Until the next time, take care.